Hello there. In this video, let's talk about the Anniversary Eve Challenge Quest. So quest 1. This thing was a doozy. You might be wondering if you can even clear this thing, and I'm here to tell you that I think you can. Okay, having enough damage to be able to burst this thing down is super advanced. So, long story short, if you can just tank and survive while you let poison and or burn do the work, you just might be able to clear this thing. Let's take a look at the loadout I used. Actually, in my live stream, and then we'll take a uh, look at the clip from that live stream. Okay, so essentially, there are five things you want to think of packing into your build. That's healing, cleanse, attack break, burn, and poison. And like I said, you could do it with burn or poison, but it's just going to take even longer. So the more you can stack in there, those things actually stack on top of each other and do double the damage or however much you brought, right? So first of all, my attack break is Celeb Demos. You might not have him. So really quick, just some alternatives off the top of my head. There's Abstract Akeha, who has the attack break on her character skill, and she's also very tanky. And then worst case scenario, you should at least have three star Descenting Argo who also has the attack break and decent tankiness. Look at that. Okay. Demos also has the defense buff, which really helps. Okay. On the main hand, I was really surprised that I was able to clear this with not only a three-star weapon, but a three-star costume. So this thing's pretty cool. It's got a self-heal source of burn. Then... In the case of all of these, I'm just building the subs with as much HP, and then the memoirs are the party HP sets on all three characters. And then I also have this new summer companion with the attack break. And the alternative to that is the water pod. Okay, so my source of poison was this three-star Noel. Poison weapons are kind of problematic in this battle because they're usually water... Elements, which makes you weak to the boss. But look here. Cool. And then... Also, look at that defense value. So she survived pretty well. Okay. Uh, Summer Saryu is my healer, and you might not have her. Other healer options could be... Well, let's say you don't have any of them. At least you should have 3-star F66X with a super honorable mention going to bloody F66X because she has the heal, a great heal, regen, and the cleanse all in one. So speaking of the cleanse, I brought the weapon with cleanse, the FF14 Rion Staff. But if you don't have a cleanse weapon, even if you're brand new, you can grab this Welfare Celeb Lars who has cleanse on the character skill. So between all of these things, you just have to do your best with what your account has to have enough healing, tankiness, a cleanse to get rid of that burn that the boss casts. Hopefully even a, a multiple sources of burn, like I have here the EX Akeha sword, and then the poison from the character skill. Really surprised at how fast the HP went down. Okay, so that's the build that worked for me. Let's take a look at the clip now from my live stream. And I'm going to have it muted and kind of skip around while I talk. Then I'll disappear at the end so you can see my actual reaction from that time. So, skipping ahead to battle. And you see him just chipping away at the, the mobs. And I just want to make sure that my cleanse is ready to go right at the beginning of wave three. Let's skip to that. Here we go. Now, check the boss's actions. I'm going to wait for that burn to be queued, and then I'll go ahead and cast the cleanse. There we go. Now I want you to look at the damage that's done by the burn ticks and the poison tick.
then it's just a matter of surviving from here. Okay. It's taking the attack break with that companion. Okay, poison is applied. The burn is applied. What a beautiful thing. Okay, 325,000. That's the burn tick. Okay, and then 162,000. That's the poison tick. Okay, I'm going to disappear and let you watch my reaction uh, with this nail biter of a finish. All right, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Heart's pumping. Dude, BS. Okay. Don't you do it. You let me act. Oh, with 555 five, five HP left. For Christ's sake! Okay, I gotta clip that out so I can post it, because I'm not coming back and doing this battle. <laughs> so. Ooh, thanks for all to, uh, all the help uh, from my... from my chat. A lot of knowledgeable people and giving really good advice. And, um... If you're watching this in the video later... Here's one way to do it. Massive burn poison tank strats. Okay, I got my pearl. Here we go. Whew. That is the clutchest of clutch. All right, so there it was. And in hindsight, I would have liked to maybe bring another source of attack break, if possible to try to stack and prolong that effect, making the survivability even better. Because as you can see, I was next to death there. It was a very clutch win. Okay, and hopefully that gives you some insight on how to recreate this on your own account and get that clear. Because there's a black pearl in it for you and some mama medals. And I've seen some variations of this build out there working so best of luck with that and if you haven't joined a live stream yet uh, it's a grand old time we have active chat and it's super chill so look out for those if you want to see this whole battle check uh the description for the link to the live stream it was the one from august 7th and uh, the timestamp is in the pinned comments so that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe to support the channel. It's much appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next one.